Creating good guitar melodies can take our instrumentals to the next level. In today's video, I want to show you how to create realistic Afrobeat guitar melodies in FL Studio 21. Also, I'm going to record my voice to create some dope vocal chops. Let's have some fun. First, let's fix our tempo. We're gonna go with a tempo like 95, something like that, and then load contact 7. We're gonna use the Ilya FMO5 contact library. It's a really good contact library, guys. And the preset gonna be the classic. I'm gonna use this classic preset for the chord progression and then the um Spanish guitar for the melody. First, I'm gonna choose the low note and then build the melody around them. I try this. But one thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do one thing. And this is gonna be the same. Nice. Vinyl to preset, remove the noise. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of space. Now to make everything more interesting, I'm going to duplicate like or clone this uh, guitar and then select the Spanish preset. This one gonna bring this Latin vibe. That's gonna make it sound more interesting, guys. Then one thing we can do cranking, cranking, get a cranking. Maybe a little bit low. Comment B. And then now we're gonna have. We can do like. Hey, tot We can do prime penalty. Same thing. I like copy the little color. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is gonna be pancake so we can have this automation. Where is my pancake too? Maybe 
could take it for two hundred bars or so. The next thing gonna be to um go to half of sessions but we're gonna start adding some drums. Let's do this shaker. This every kick. Hey. Let's go and then the basic Afro beat percussion pattern. And then the next thing gonna be adding this drum fill that, that I have on on the alphabet session volume 2 that I'm currently working on guys stay tuned for that now we're gonna take the jump to another level by adding more percussion and then some conga guys i'm just gonna add a bass go to fire and then use this sub um cut it safe and then we're gonna play with the envelope so in this instrument we're gonna have two bass we're gonna have this one for the verse and then another bass combined with a um, log drum with a log drum for the chorus uh this is gonna be simple it's just the low note <laughs> something simple like that comment b now guys it's time to add those vocal chops i'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna it's gonna be a long process it's like i'm gonna start recording and then freestyle on it and the one that i find that i love i'm gonna keep it so i'm gonna do that off camera and then get back with the final vibe that i that i select guys here is the vocal that i finally keep something simple Now guys, we're gonna mix them and make them sound interesting. But this one, we're gonna uh, pitch it one octave higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first plugin gonna be our tuning plugin. I think the key is D sharp or minor. And now we're gonna add a long reverb. You can use the flusy convolver or a sound hole. Guys, now that I have the vocal shop sit in the mix correctly, I think it's time to add some maybe saxophone, some Latin vibe, you know, maybe some trumpet to really take it to a, the next level. I think I'm gonna go to splice and then try to find something. Again, you know, this is a long process trying to find the right sample so i'm gonna do that off camera and then get back with the sample that i select i find some nice simple on splash and let's see how we can implement them in our instrumental so, uh let me go with this first this one is like an effect some some arpeggiator so we're gonna pitch it like two semitone i think two we are on c and then we pitch one one two three okay three semitone and then the next thing gonna be this this is a sax we're on g minor and then we're gonna transpose minus 500 and then make sure that we make it sit fit with the tempo now 
So. <laughs> But now I take each sound too low. What I'm gonna do is like bounce it and then I just put it one octave higher. Go to consolidate track, but I will consolidate it and then we transpose it one octave higher and then add some reverb. You know, reverb always work on sad. Nice. I don't think I'm gonna use the second part. I just cut it. And then we have this one. This one is on B minor. Uh, and then we're gonna transpose it again. Minus seven. And also this one, uh, I am gonna add some reverb in it too. Let me add it to this vocal chart. Nice. I think I need more reverb. And then I'm gonna take it down, this one down a little bit. Nice. I love everything sound nice now I'm gonna add the bass and the log drum so I'm gonna use trillion uh, to create my bass go to trillion and then use this specific preset this preset sound amazing I use it in many of my instrumental guys so go check it out duplicate it's so simple like that guys and then if we play everything and now guys we're gonna combine it with a log drum go to footy the extend and use this preset the sammy beat log vibe sound like this we're gonna try to find some vibe to combine them and then make them sound really nice. And then now we're gonna make this one war. Nah, I want it to be like start like this and then. Thank you. 
I love it, love it. Now let's see something on this bass. I think for this one I'm gonna use this one. Nice. Guys, I really love the vibe. Now I'm gonna make the arrangement and then play the final vibe for you. And also I'm gonna upload this beat on my instrumental channel so we can go stream the full instrumental. Now I'm gonna do that off camera and then get back to the final vibe. Guys, here is the arrangement that we have. It's a simple arrangement. It's like we have an intro. And also, I have to tell you that I create a kick, another kick for the intro. So simple like that. And then I also add this crash. And while you guys, I just copy the chord progression on the guitar, add it to a piano and reverse it. And then also I add this pad wobble. That's all I did. And also right here, I combine the bass, the sub, and the log drum. Then this one is a slide. And then when you add everything together. Now I'm going to play the intro, the first verse, and then the chorus. If you want to stream the full instrumental, please go subscribe to my channel, instrumental channel, guys, and check the link in the description box. Now, enjoy. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope now it's easier for you all to create good guitar melodies for your beat. If you have questions, please leave a comment. See you in the next one. Bow!